I've mentioned before, I think, the, what I call the SP root. There are enormous number of words that have this. Spirit, spunk, sperm, spew, sprinkle, spark. Got the idea? Uh, aspiration, respiration, inspiration. Yes, many, many words. Nearly all of them have, have this sense in common that take spark. You do something active here and it travels over there where luckily it will then catch fire and do something. So in a way, all healing is this, the spark from here to there where you hope it will, it will actuate the life energy in the person you're, you're trying to help. You see? And another word is spontaneous. Right. Now, you, uh, if you read about most of the artists, they were, they were anything but spontaneous. Vermeer, six months uh, to do a painting. And his mother-in-law, bless her, who lived with them, kept screaming at him, as did his wife, do more, we need the money, do more, do more. Six months, every tile, everything had to be just in place. Anything, anything but spontaneous. I would like to think that my painting is spontaneous. Certainly it is very, very quick, and it's without any, any deliberation. It just happens. Uh, yes, there are certain patterns I can see because I have certain brain patterns. They're also spontaneous in the sense that I hope that I will create a spark that will go from what I'm doing over there to the viewer to produce, hopefully, some life energy, quote, healing change in him, some metamorphosis. I did this about an hour or so ago. See, there, there it is. Um, hot, hot off, whatever it is. And I have, I have a, a sort of pattern very often with, a, with a, a, a one that's done lengthwise, you tend to go up. <laughs> if it's this way, you tend to go more across. Yeah, and, and this, I tend to, because I'm right-handed, I tend to do uh, a movement to the right very often. But that changes depending on this basic rhythm that wants to come out. Now, uh, that, that is completely uh, spontaneous for me. Let's forget all the, to do with technique. Let's just talk about what, what the uh, apparent purpose is, as far as I'm aware, and I may be completely deluding myself. It's, but I, I do it as a doctor. I don't do it as a painter or an artist, or a this, or a that. And it's, it's what's, it's what's, to come. It's, to, it's to be that spontaneous spark in every painting I do, including this one. Yeah, it's, it's all with the idea it's going to go somewhere. It's going to have an effect uh, somewhere. Sometimes I'm thinking of one person, sometimes I'm just, well not, no, it's not thinking. It's, it's you create that thing I'm not, when I'm painting, I'm not saying this is for Bessie. No, it's not like that. It's just, I put myself in that state and then it just, you know, it just automatically happens. But, it, but it's, it's always, the, the, but the intention in the first place, as it were, the hope, the esperanza, is that it will be a spark to actuate the dormant, or somewhat dormant, life energy in the in the viewer